Let's see if we can get a better comprehension going here on what these blending modes are and how they work in Andy's little testing lab here. Go into your working folder and open up blending modes testlab.psd. I got a couple of things working here. Number one, I have result, blend, and base. And those would be the three elements of using a blending mode. If we turn off blend for a second, I want to show you something. We are going to be using as our base the same image. So we can see how it reacts to a gradient, to a middle cyan, and to itself. So when I turn blend back on, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm putting these images on top of here. So here is our base, result, and blend, all three things put together. And we can always look at this one down here to see the original as we work. So with blend selected, that's a group incidentally, and all three of those are in that group. But the cool thing is, if I change the blending mode of a group, it will change all three at the same time. That's why I put them in a group. Now, if we come up here, let's start with this group right here, the darkening blending modes. And let's start with darken. Now, if you look at darken, what does it do? Darken looks at the color information and selects the base or blend color. Remember, base and blend, whichever is darker. Pixels lighter than the blend color are going to be replaced and pixels that are darker don't change. So if you're looking at a neutral, because we're blending this one with darken against itself, doesn't change. If you look at it against a middle cyan, it's multiplying the cyan into the document to darken it, not lighten it. And if you look at a gradient, as soon as it gets to the darker end over here, it doesn't really change it. So that's the darken blending mode. Let's go to one of my favorites, multiply. It's gonna change subtly. Keep your eyes over here. Multiply looks at the color information and multiplies the base color by the blend color, and the result's going to be always darker. Now, you'll notice it's not a lot, but it is darker. We multiplied it against itself. We made a darker image. This one darkens it up overall based on the base color, and this one doesn't really start working until we get into the darker areas over here. The lighter ones don't work. That's multiply. Let's go to the next one. Color Burn. Color Burn looks at the color information and darkens the base color to reflect the blend color. It does that by increasing the contrast. This is a contrast increaser. And you can see how it does that. It does really increase the contrast. This one's multiplied against itself. This one's almost blowing it out. It's so dark, but it's increasing contrast, as you can see. And the same is going on here. As soon as it gets into these darker pixels, you can begin to see the contrast. That's color burn. Next, linear burn. Now, linear burn looks at color information and darkens the base color to reflect the blend color by decreasing brightness. Blending with white produces no change, as you can see here. As it gets to the darker areas, it does blend. It does an aggressive blend here, gets it very dark. And on this one, it starts getting it darker again, but we're talking about brightness here. Now, the last one is darker color. Now, what darker color does is it looks at the color information, and what it does is it makes the color darker. It makes the brightness darker instead of lighter. And again, you get the same results on this one. You can see there's no difference here. But on this one, as you can see where the middle tones interact with the ones that are up here, it begins to change it. And the same thing over here but only when it gets into the darker areas does it begin working. Those are the darkened blending modes right in here, or what we call the darkened blending modes. Now, if you want to, you can leave this open. We'll be using it in the next lesson on the next set of blending modes.